It was a dark and chilly night as I drove down the empty highway, heading towards my parents' house. I glanced nervously at the fuel gauge, which hovered perilously close to empty. With a sigh, I realized I had no choice but to stop at the next gas station. My heart thudded in my chest as I surveyed the desolate surroundings. The only sound was the faint hum of the gas pumps and the rustling of leaves in the cold wind. I stepped out of my car, shivering in the night air. The fluorescent lights flickered overhead, casting eerie shadows that danced along the pavement. I hurried to the nearest pump, eager to fill up and be on my way. I inserted my credit card into the machine, a sense of unease washed over me. I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being watched. I glanced around nervously, but there was no one in sight. Just as I was about to dismiss my paranoia as nothing more than nerves, I heard it, a faint scratching sound coming from the darkness beyond the reach of the lights. My heart skipped a beat, and I froze in place, straining my ears to listen. The scratching grew louder, accompanied now by a low, guttural growling. Fear clawed at my insides as I realized I wasn't alone. I fumbled with the gas pump, trying to refuel as quickly as possible while keeping an eye on the shadows. Finally, the tank was full, and I hurried back to my car, my heart pounding in my chest. I climbed inside and locked the doors, feeling a sense of relief wash over me. But as I started the engine and pulled away from the gas station, a feeling of dread settled over me like a heavy blanket. I glanced in the review mirror, half expecting to see something lurking in the darkness behind me. But the road stretched out empty and deserted, bathed in the soft glow of the moonlight. I tried to shake off the feeling of unease as I drove, but the scratching noises persisted, growing louder and more insistent with each passing mile. I turned up the radio, hoping to drown out the sound, but it only seemed to make it worse just when I thought I couldn't take it anymore. I saw the lights of my parents' house twinkling in the distance. Relief flooded through me as I pulled into the driveway and killed the engine, but as I stepped out of the car, a chill ran down my spine. There, standing in the shadows, was a figure, a twisted, unnatural shape that seemed to sway in the breeze like a puppet on strings. I froze in place, my heart hammering in my chest as I stared at the figure in horror. And then, just as suddenly as it had appeared, it vanished into thin air. I stood there for a moment trying to catch my breath and make sense of what I had just seen. But deep down, I knew that the horrors of that night were far from over. And as I stepped inside my parents' house, I couldn't shake the feeling that something was still out there, lurking in the darkness, waiting to strike. I guess we'll never know.